Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the convertible duffel from Knack. And I'm particularly excited for this video as I'm going to be partnering up with Knack to give away one of these to you. I have always been a big fan of Knack's products, particularly their emphasis on the one bag life. I really love their expandable backpacks that allow you to use the same thing for work, EDC, and traveling. I featured their Series 1 and Series 2 Knacks on the channel. I'll make sure to include links in the description below if you want to check the reviews that I did for those out. I actually did an unboxing video for the Series 2 a while back and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to do another unboxing video to give a little bit of a preview of what you could potentially be winning if you enter the giveaway. And so I'll talk a little bit more about the giveaway towards the end of the video, so make sure to stick around. Before jumping in, I want to thank Knack for sending the bag for me to test out and for partnering up for the giveaway. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny, and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. So diving straight into the unboxing, the knife that I'm going to be using today is the James Brand Carter XL, which has been my EDC knife of choice over the past few months. Absolutely love this one. And you just have a very simple kind of box here. I've always liked how easy it is to get right into the products when you receive a knack pack. So it includes this little card on the inside that can use to refer a friend if you like the product and then Nax bags typically come with a nice bag that can work as a laundry bag so I'll just go ahead and toss the box aside because we don't really need that anymore right now and I really like the fact that this bag is included with the knack packs because it helps when I store the bags in my closet just kind of keep everything protected from the elements and then I could toss it into my bag when I'm traveling uh, for my laundry or my shoes or something like that and so it's got a little knot here that I need to get out so that I could actually get into the bag so undoing that I can actually open this up and pull the convertible duffel out and so tearing away the plastic like a child during holidays or birthdays I'll just go ahead and pull the bag out and so it's got a really nice clean look very similar to Nax other products that we've looked at. So I really like the versatility of their aesthetic. This is what allows it to work for a professional setting if you want something for work travel. Uh, but it's not so overly sleek in my opinion. Their bags in general that you know I would be uncomfortable just walking around the city with them with a more casual outfit. So nice to see that trend continue here with the duffel itself. And so right away you can see that you can hide the straps away as this is the convertible duffel. So a very clean sort of appearance right out of the box. You have a handle on the side so you can carry this like a briefcase. A nice one at the top. Both of these appear to be well padded. You have some breathability. You have just the one tag attached on the top handle. Right away, I don't see a ton of external sort of pockets on the front in the way that their knack packs typically have had. The Series 1 and Series 2 had a lot of kind of compartments on the front where you could hold some of your smaller accessories. So I'll be curious to see what it looks like on the inside. You have the lockable YKK zippers and it's just a nice sort of nylon fabric. I'll go into a little bit more detail on the fabric in the review that I will do in a couple of weeks. You have the logo down at the front. I like how subtle it is and how it just kind of blends in with the blacked out look of the bag. And then on one of the sides, the one that doesn't have the handle, you have an external compartment that could work as kind of a hidden water bottle pocket. This is common in Nax other bags, works really well and just keeps a really clean look. Even when you have your water bottle on the inside or an umbrella, it seems like it has a nice amount of volume. And then taking a look at the back paneling, pretty similar here to what we saw on their Series 2 backpack, which I was a fan of. This is a really soft, almost gel-like padding here. Well, you know, distributed padding that has some elevation to create some airflow. So I'll be excited to put this to the test, particularly when this is really packed out. You have a luggage pass through, and then at the top, you have the zipper where you can pull out the straps if you wanna use this as a backpack. So similar style straps to what we've seen in the past seem to offer a nice amount of padding, some breathability on the inside. You do have the ability to attach a sternum strap that may be included on the inside. We'll take a look in a little bit, but nice that you can kind of easily hide the straps if you don't want to use them. If you want to use this as a duffel or a briefcase, same sort of system here with nice metallic clips. So some good durability there, very easy to convert the bag 
And then you have the external laptop compartment. So seems to be large enough to hold a 15 or 16 inch laptop comfortably. Nice lining on the inside, pretty good padding on the company side. I believe they say this is pulled up off the bottom um, to help prevent you know, any sort of accidental damage from drops. I'll have to put that to the test with my device when I load my laptop in there, but really like the amount of space that this offers and the quick access nature of the compartment. And then since this is a knack bag, you have the ability to expand. I see the zipper on the outside, which I'm always a big fan of, just the flexibility that this adds to their bag. So they have the zipper that goes all the way around and you can see that it's gonna expand quite a bit. I believe this goes from 24 liters to over 35 liters, 40 liters potentially. I'll throw the specs up on the screen, uh, but you can see that there's quite a bit of expandability there. So lots of space for packing stuff out for a trip. And then of course, the ability to compress it down for EDC use. And then you have this main zipper for the compartment that you know is kind of kind of hold all of your stuff and this is a clamshell style opening so plenty of visibility very easy to kind of pack this out for travel i'm always a fan of this style of bag when you unbox it it comes with just some nice filling on the inside to kind of help the bag keep its shape during transit and here you can see the included shoulder strap that's going to allow you to use this as a duffel. This is where the convertible nature comes in. I'm going to go ahead and tear that paper off and it's attached here uh, to the zipper pull. So I still have my pocket knife handy here. And the strap that's provided seems really great just upon first impressions. Plenty of padding here, similar to what we saw on the shoulder strap. Nice amount of breathability. I like when these shoulder straps are a little bit longer like this as it provides you more sort of flexibility with how you can wear the bag and maintaining the comfort that you would want with a strap like this. Metallic buckles as well here. So very durable, rugged straps in general. And then on the inside, you have a pretty big open space. This is definitely the type of layout that's gonna work well with some packing cubes or pouches, depending on if you're using this for your day to day or traveling here on the inside. You can start to get some of the volume from that external water bottle pocket. So it does take up a little bit, it looks like, but decent amount of space here, even for you know the, the water bottles that I would typically carry with me. And then here, this is a little bit different from some of the other knack bags that we've looked at. You have this nice zipper that's gonna be great for holding maybe uh, tech accessories, cables, maybe some toiletries, uh, just so it's nice to have some internal organization. You have some elastic loops here at the top which might be great for some EDC items, some pens, a flashlight. And then you have this flap that's sort of secured down with the buckles. So this is gonna allow you to compress your stuff down and just keep it in place, which is nice to have this divider, which doesn't take up a ton of space. You can see that it's pretty thin. And then you can organize all of your stuff on the inside when it's expanded out. You know, you're gonna have a ton of volume. I'm really excited to load this out with my normal packing cube setup to see just how long I could potentially travel with this. On the inside, you'll also start to see NAC's sort of trademark internal fabric with their branding. It's also antimicrobial, I believe, to prevent any odors from building up. And then on the flap, you have some additional organization. So you have a fleece lined tablet sleeve, it looks like. So this would be a good spot for your iPad or your Kindle or something like that. And then you have a little uh, carabiner for some keys. And I like that this is probably removable. Yeah, this is something that I've seen in some of NAC's other bags. So you can take that off, easily use it, or just leave it at home if you don't wanna carry it with you. Looks like you have a few more elastic bands here. So extra spots, again, for dongles, pens, EDC items. And then you have a few zippered pockets here uh, for some of your accessories. So this one also has mesh, like the one that's on the divider over here. So you can be able to see what you store in here. Decent amount of volume, so it's gonna be a good spot for you know, either some smaller pouches, other tech accessories. This probably be where I put my laptop charger. And then here, as I mentioned earlier, you do have the sternum strap to attach to the shoulder straps if you wanna have a little bit of help distributing the weight. Seems to have these G hooks here, which are gonna make it very easy to get this on and off. Nice that that's included and fully removable. And then 
The last zippered pocket that you have here is also fleece lined. This one is gonna be a great spot for maybe something like your sunglasses or you know, a pair of delicate headphones, anything that you don't want getting scratched. I like that it has this soft lining on the inside and just a decent amount of volume. So even something that's a little bit thicker, it should be able to fit in there comfortably. So a little bit more of a simple layout compared to some of their other bags, but really, really like the amount of space that's offered here. And I can only imagine how much it's gonna be able to hold and just the versatility of being able to compress this down. This layout still feels like it's gonna work quite well for EDC and just going to the office when I'm working remotely, going to a coffee shop or something like that. So really nice, simple layout. I'm excited to load this up, test it over the next couple of weeks. And yeah, if you all have any questions on my first impressions, if you're kind of looking at this bag and trying to see if it's gonna be a good fit for you, let me know in the comments below. But so far upon my first impressions, really great sort of addition to their product lineup. It seems like a great alternative to the knack packs that we've looked at in the past. And I'm excited to show you what it's like to, you know, put this to real world use in a couple of weeks. And so that's it. That's what it's like to unbox the knack convertible duffel. Hopefully this video was a nice preview. And as mentioned in the intro, I'm gonna be partnering with Knack to give one of these away. If you wanna enter the contest, make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel, sign up for Knack's newsletter, and also leave a comment in the video talking about your favorite aspect of the bag or how you plan on using it. The contest is gonna be running for about two weeks, and I'm gonna be doing an in-depth video for this bag. I'll be you know, kind of doing my normal showcase of how I load it out, talking about the features. In that video is where I'll actually be announcing the winner of the bag, so make sure to tune in. And if you wanna check out the bag itself, if you just can't wait for the giveaway or you need something now, I'll include a link to the NAC site so you can see more of the information about the bag, as well as links to the reviews that I've done for the NAC Series 1 and Series 2 expandable backpacks as those are still fantastic alternatives if you want something that's a little bit more of a traditional kind of backpack style bag, I definitely recommend you check those out. And I wanna thank Knack again for sending the bag for me to test out and for partnering up for the giveaway and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see some more giveaways in the future or just more unboxing style of videos, make sure to give this a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you can enter the contest and so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.